Hey everyone, Garrett from Tate & Yoko. Thanks for tuning in. We've got a great show for you today. We've got, of course, Fitz. We've got Terry's pick. We've got release information. We got some new product on the shelf we want to talk about, as well as some hidden gems we found in the warehouse. We've got that and much, much more coming up on this episode. But before we get into it, please take a moment, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please also subscribe to the channel. It, uh, it really helps out and I really appreciate it. All right, so we're gonna start off with the fits as usual. We got Vinny. Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? All right, so today we're going with the Steve Jaw fit, except a little bit more extravagant. We got the black turtleneck. We got a new jean that I got. The Goku Super Saiyan, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and holding up these jeans, we got the brown thick belt, you know? to hold up these jeans around my thick thighs, you know what I'm saying? And we got the black Tims, just to keep it uh, the huge. But that's my whole, that's my whole shtick right there. All right, so again, I feel like you've seen this fit a million times kind of before, but I have my in-situ navy watch cap, uh, my uh, work shirt, the blue kind of flannel check, very old, uh, circular knit white tee, Black Buffalo belt. I am wearing the new Dirty Fade True Guys um, down below and I'm, I'm still fading these. I wore them bouldering the other day so they're a little bit faded on the knees. Now, stacking them. Let me know in the comments if you think I should stay stacking them or if I should hem them. I'm kind of digging the stacks but I also like having them hemmed. Stack, stack, stack. The okay, stack. well, <laughs> let me know down in the comments what you think, what's your opinion. Uh, John Lofgren engineer boots on the bottom. Uh, I've got my Benchmade 940. What's on there? It's dirty with something. Chocolate or something. I don't know what that is. Anyways. Oh yeah, we cut up some cookies the other day. Um, and I think that's it. Card case. Shout out to Costco. Best store besides Tate and Yoko. <laughs> Not a sponsor. Please sponsor us. That'd be great. Uh, who wants to go next? I'll go next. I'll go next. What's up, guys? Um, okay, cool. Let's make it quick. I am. I'll go from the top down, kind of like Garrett. I'm wearing the. Uh, I'm wearing the new heritage jacket. MIJ13. The heritage jacket cut. It's a fantastic jacket. I really like it. I love it. I think we all like it here. Um, I am wearing my Vulgar Three Strong guys. I have my belt hook. I have um, you know my Casio. F91W, I got my ring, classic, and I have my New Balance 991s. Where did you get those New Balance? I got them from Winners, dude. How much? Uh, I think they were 80 bucks. Nice. Made in the UK, I swear to God. And, and how long have you been wearing those jeans? I've been wearing these, um, I've been trying to wear them consistently, but you know, it's a struggle. Uh, how, many, how many months do you I've, I want to say like six months now, I think. Six months, like consistent six yeah. months. Yeah, yeah. I got them in June of 2023. And now it is uh, February of 2024, so there's a bit of time in between there, but it's been, there's been some good work. How long has it been, Vincent? Like eight months. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, I haven't been wearing them consistently for eight months. Right. They're worn. Maxim's turn. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So I'm, I'm covering uh, my look today with a Terry uh, sweater in the gray. I have the Elephant Super Guy, um, Elephant 9, so natural indigo. Mm. And I got the brown leather 7 millimeter belt uh, with my Chippewa classic brown boots. But what's holding everything together is my Rambo socks here. Whoa. Say Rambo? Yeah. John Rambo? John Rambo? Whoa. Real. Get him. Oh, now it's shit. Short Hey guys, it's Vincent here. I'm wearing um, the Diamond Dots Easy Shirt, uh, the seven millimeter thick brown belt, the now repaired uh, Natural Indigo Selvage Groovy guys. What happened to them? I was bouldering, I completely blew out the crotch and I was so upset and then I got them repaired. Um, the card case and the Sambezis, but you can see my um, 
Let's see my repairs here. Get in there. Get, get in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, lost a shot right there. Exactly. You get re you get repairs in a show. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. All right, everybody. I'm back, baby. Uh, I missed you all last week, but uh, welcome back to another I'm this week's at Tate and <laughs> Yoto. Um, it's good to see you all. And I'm just going to start off again how I like to do always with my fit check. Again, from the bottom up, because I like to ground myself, you know, with a thick, strong foundation. And today's foundation are my ever-reliable Jim Green African Rangers. Everything you need, nothing you don't. Of course, the star of the show, as always, is these uh, amazing King of Lore 2s and True Guy, just keeping me warm and safe throughout these gnarly winter months. Uh, keeping these guys in place, of course, is the Veg Tan Belt. You know it, you love it, you've seen it before. I have my old uh, Velveteen t-shirt here. This has been around for the wash many times. It used to be purple, it's no longer. Now. <laughs> yeah, no longer. Maybe 18% great now. No, it's lighter than that. Lighter than grat. And we have this cool little um, uh, chore coat here. I've been doing all my chores here at work in this chore coat in this lovely Dobby pattern. Let's see if you can kind of get this Dobby pattern going on over here. This has some nice texture, classic naked and famous uh, pattern over here. Um, I like this one for doing my chores. Hold my little pencil there. It's never been released. Yeah, I got, sample. oh yeah, well, this is still fantastic fabric. You will probably jacket. see it again from us. In situ hat, just like Mr. Garrett, but worn in a different way. Let us know how you guys wear your toques and or beanies and or watch caps. There has been much debate, contention, uh, name calling around here for the correct way. What, to... what level do you <laughs> Yeah, yeah. down here, here, here or up here? I'd like to see someone with the eye cover. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, you want to go like cover. the Justin skateboard style or the Garrett high and tight. OK, that's class. I got or my lovely Matt. trusty G-Shock been to heck right. and back. The old Kershaw over here, daily driver, dull but reliable. <laughs> and sad. yeah, that's about it. I've got I've got the card case too there. A little bit of the Costco shout out. Yes, again, is our favorite little partner. That's not a partner. <laughs> Great. So moving on there, I only show off a couple of things there before we get too deep into the show. The warehouse of the day. Let's take a look around. Let's get a little bit of a pan around here, Ben. You may notice that some things are looking a wee bit different around here. Shelves, so there are shelves. Shelves where there are no shelves before, all right? If you go ask some questions, what's going on? The, question, the answers to those questions are lots of new products, lots of restocks, lots of hot new fits, new drops, surprises, and denim explosions coming this summer, coming soon. All right, so that's the quick little warehouse update. Okay, all right. Uh, we also have part of those explosions of new products over here. We have a Wonderlooper restock. Wonderlooper restock, that's right. We're getting some new heavy, double heavyweight tees pretty soon in a couple of weeks or months, kind of depending. And I also want to tease another nice new product, a little, another local partner. Maybe we can get a zoom across the room over there. Coming <laughs> soon. We'll talk more about that later, but that is a lovely product for all you uh, leather daddies out there who got to make sure that things aren't dry and chapped this type of year. <laughs> got to stay moist. We have the product for you. We'll talk more about that in a coming episode. I'm very excited for that. Anyway, the star of this week's show, of course, is going to be the release this Friday, which is the MIJ 13 coming soon. We do have Mr. Garrett to talk all about this. Uh, Garrett and I did a lovely video, which is live now, where we kind of go into real deep dive. We're just going to show you a little bit of a highlight, you know, sports do expert we, do style. Do we have one here? Can someone grab one? We had uh, Justin was wearing one, and Justin then he ran off to the it. store. <laughs> so can you grab us a, an MIJ? Yeah, fresh one? a pristine MIJ box. Yes. So first, yeah, Justin was briefly talking about the new heritage jacket that we have coming. It's the first time we've ever done this pattern before. Classic denim jacket pattern. A little bit shorter, a little bit boxier. Got some nice details like these knife pleats on the front there. Again pleats on the back, little side adjusters at the bottom. It's got all the great details. Oh, one thing I did notice too, rivets on the sleeve, the iron buttons, the embroidery. It's got all the details, selvage on the inside, but in this new pattern. So I'm a big fan of this heritage jacket. I think they fit great on everyone. So even guys like me who are a little bit more, um, not the word husky, but uh, thicker in the chest and shorter arms, it fits great. 
or you can size up if you're a guy who's taller like Justin, he has had to run off and uh, you can also wear this uh, if you're a tall guy as well. So we got the new heritage jackets coming. Definitely check out the video that uh, me and Terry did. We go over all the details. And then of course we have the jeans in the super guy, weird guy, easy guy, true guy fit coming out as well and the regular denim jacket. So this is gonna be dropping this Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern. And just a quick little side-by-side -side comparison. You can hold on to this guy for me. We have my pair. If you've been watching uh, This Week at Tattoo Noko, you've, you already know that I've been fading a pair of Main Japan 13s. Okay, I'm a spirit uh, black. And here they are. So we'll do a quick little side-by-side -side here. It is true that black denim does fade and this is only four months of wear for me, which is not really a lot. And you can see they've actually come uh, quite a long way. So there's a little side by side. I've washed them probably four or five times and uh, wore them in the office, wore them bouldering, wore them on the weekends, basically wearing them every single day doing the regular uh, Garrett stuff. And you can see this amazing grainy texture coming out on that slub yarn. So again, I won't go into every single detail because Terry and I already did uh, a video about that. So definitely check that out if you're interested in the new Made in Japan 13 Okayama Spirit Kuro or Black. Um, so yeah, those are coming this Friday. What else? We already talked about this one. Yeah, this is the uh, Jack that Just was just got. Just wearing, Garrett also talked about, it is the first time that we're ever having a jacket in this pattern and it's gonna be released on an MIJ very, very first thing. And we've talked a bit more about some MIJ products in just a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll start right now. We got a little bit of a feature we want to talk about is that- Wait, 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 oh. Terry's pick. Sorry? Terry's pick. Terry's pick. Getting ahead of myself here. Most important part of the video, I am HO. I want to talk about the Terry's pick, the special winner. So I wasn't here last week, but my beloved coworkers, and they are beloved to me, put in an amazing little hashtag shout out to some of the troubles that, you know, me and my family are experiencing right now. My poor truck, which has gone, disappeared, who knows where. Um, haven't found it yet, but I do appreciate all the support because we've been getting a lot of support, a lot of messages on the YouTube, a lot of message on Instagram, and especially a lot of comments and orders. So thank you very much to everybody who sent a special message in the comment section. Really appreciate it. And I did my best to write you all a little thank you note. But for today, today's pick of the day, we have a special winner here. So again, we choose these orders at random. If you put a comment in the order section of your order with the word of the week, you can be entered to win a special prize. And today's winner is Diego from the Philippines. That's right, Diego from the Philippines. And Diego says, like him, his father, his grandfather, his great grandfather, all like denim. I guess it's in the jeans. Must be the jeans, that's right. <laughs> and then, so we're happy you found something from our gene pool. So let me tell you what it is. He ordered a groovy guy, a natural indigo, size 38. Let's get you that groovy guy, in natural indigo, size 38. So come on here, Vinny. Come on down the old warehouse lane. All the heavy hitters. There we go. Whoa, no. There we go. Natural indigo, groovy guy, 38. Fantastic. So we got a special prize for you, Diego from the Philippines. It's going to be a little denim tote bag. So we always select a special prize at uh, random. We kind of go for our collection here just to show. And today we're going to go with one of these tote bags. You've seen them before. They are fantastic. They are made by us. This is raw denim, now in a portable form. So you can put your jeans in your jeans when you're going out shopping for jeans. I, I like this one a lot. So Diego, I hope you appreciate this. We're going to send it to you right away off to the station for shipping. Let's just focus right here on the scale here, baby. But not before, I don't want to dox this gentleman here. So we're just going to look at my face while I do the whole procedure. And just like it's the summer of uh, 2023. There we go. Okie dokie. Just going to refresh this. <laughs> All right. So I got a little note for him, but that's not all. If, 
if you write a special comment in the order and you don't get selected, worry not because we have a special prize for you. Every single person who writes a comment will get one of these cool, let's put them out here, let's do the old hand trick there. <laughs> there we go, skin on skin. That's right, this is one of our special keychains. So we're gonna have a bunch of different versions of these, but for now it's in this beautiful thick veg tan leather. And like all of our stuff, it's made right here in Canada. So these are a great one. The only way you can get this cool little keychain, this little memento of your uh, denim enthusiasm is to place a comment on our order, order something and we'll include it there. So you're gonna get one of these cool keychains. He's gonna get a bunch of extra stickers. I've already written them a lovely little note. And you are gonna enjoy this here. So off the print, out it goes, then in the bag. Go. If it looks like I've done this before, it's because I have. So Diego, move from us with love, off to you. Enjoy your jeans, enjoy your bags, and stay tuned to the end of this video to hear the special word of the week for the next week and every week after that for a million years, but starting off with this week. So stay right to the end, and then we will talk about the word of the week, but not before we get to one of our features over here today, which is some special lost hidden gems. Maybe things on the website, things that we feel that are a little bit overlooked, underappreciated, um, little surprises that we might like to bring to your attention so you guys can show off. So yes. who wants to go first so I can catch my Vin breath? Vinny's going first. But. What can you show us, Vinny? Go grab it and bring it over to the presentation table. All right, let's see we go. A table full of beautiful 1970s era wood veneer. All right, y'all. I don't flex this, this item a lot, but if you guys want to feel rich like me, gain yourself like a quarter of a wallet, well, no, you can. Look at this spread. Look at that spread. You can now get yourself some quarter of a wallets. What's cool about like, you know, band for band, you know what I'm saying? What I like about this wallet, to be honest, I think Quartervin's like probably one of like the expensive, like one of the more expensive leathers you could get. And the reason why is because this is a horse's butt. So <laughs> make take it what you will with this with this information with this spread. All right, what I'm doing with a horse's butt. Anyways, now with this, with how the leather is, it don't crease. So like all like my rapper homie says, you know, what they would normally say, yo, money don't crease, so show in your wallet. So get yourself some quarter of them wallets. It's nice and red, great, beautiful. Look at that, just beautiful, just beautiful. Oh, oh yeah. Get yourself some quarter of them wallets, man. It'll love you. You can take it to your grave. I'm gonna take this to my grave. Anyways, that's, that's my bit. Oh yeah, baby. Band for band. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're gonna take the camera back. <laughs> All right, I'll go next. All right, here's my picks. All right, so um, if you've been around for a while, if you subscribe, if you follow the Instagram, you remember, you may remember me and Terry's uh, knife guy segments where we like to cut stuff up and show off how sharp these knives are. Why did it end again? Oh, it's not over. We just have to wait till the next knife release and we'll, there'll be more Knife Guy episodes. Mm. But uh, I just think that, you know, on the website, you may not notice that we do have these really cool knives and I do love them. Of course, made in Japan, Higo no Kami knives made specially for us. And uh, this one's really cool. It's uh, the Indigo powder coat with water drop and it might be hard to see there but it does have the logo naked famous denim here and this cool naked lady holding um a sword so that's pretty sweet and the the little uh, water droplets has a nice texture of course it has the name of the higo no kami knife manufacturer there and then more markings on the blade there really cool uh reverse tanto blade high carbon steel this is a blue paper steel so you do want to be careful uh getting it wet you don't want to let it rust or take it in the ocean. And if you do get it wet, just give it a little wipe after, but it's very sharp, uh, holds its edge very nicely and uh, it cuts really good. I can tell you that for sure. And uh, yeah, cool little pocket knife. And uh, they're, they're, they're not, uh, 
they're pretty affordably priced. So interesting little thing we have on the website, hidden gem, as I like to say. And then if you want to get a little bit fancier, if I can open the box, we have uh, the Burmese wood, the burled wood. Ooh, -wee. look at that. Extra premium, tight fit, and it's a VG10 steel. So fancy steel, premium steel, nice burled wood handle, very fancy. And uh, yeah, something something a little nice. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. You know, if you know what I'm referencing, shout out to you. Treat yourself. You know what to do. All right, so that does it for me. We got these cool little knives on the website. I know they're running low on stock, so if you do want to grab one, I uh, wouldn't wait too long, especially for these guys. I think we have, how many, Terry? Like a handful. A handful. Very few. So by the time you watch this, uh, they may all be gone. But uh, anyways, really cool Hugo no Kami knives. Who's next? Ooh. Must there be a lot to say about this? Probably not. Other than this is the best cut. Typically, you guys know us for having the weird guy, the easy guy, and the super guy, and the new true guy. But something we do have that's a little bit more obscure is the groovy guy. Bar none, my favorite cut coming in the left hand tool here. It is a flare, as you can see. The thinnest part probably being the knee. Then you have this massive leg opening. This is what it looks like. Obviously this is a different fabric, but yours can be like this too. My roommate wears them every day and uh, his are fading pretty nicely. He loves them. And usually when you look at, you know, Japanese denim companies, no one's making a groovy guy. No one's making a flared guy the way we are. So on our website, you can search up groovy guy, Find yourself something like this, which is beautiful. Restock's coming soon. We well, have lots of sizes in that hand too. Oh yeah, we have a bunch. Like, guys, it's always sold out in Weird Guy. Might as well buy it in Groovy. Yeah, these are gonna be hot this summer too. hundred percent. This summer you could you have a choice. Fashion trends. You can either be a sailor or a cowboy. What do you choose? And and sailors and cowboys. All right, who's next? Maxim? Okay, I got a little surprise for you. Ooh, for those who don't geez. watch the news, we got a new Canadian flag here. It's, oh, upside down. <laughs> it's the new uh, dirty fade Canadian flag <laughs> portraying uh, the prototype of the Canadian woman, I guess, with some selvage top and bottom. I can see dirty fade. It doesn't show that dirty, but... Once it mm. fades, it'll get dirty fades. fades. So it's a vinyl coating, I guess. Mm -hmm. So you can use it as a, like a carpet going out of the shower or um, bring it to protest if you don't know what to show off there. <laughs> and uh, do some branding for, for us. <laughs> Any help is appreciated. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can see there's a sun damage version there. A little bit... Uh, yeah, less yellow than the air. But... That one was left in the window of the Tatanyoko store for years. And so it faded a little bit. But this is what it looks like brand new. Brand new. We don't have any made in Japan one anymore, but oh, eventually. We, we, should, we should get some more of those made. Cool. All right. Thanks, so, Maxim. Buy one for all the family member, please. <laughs> one in every room. <laughs> Especially the kids. The kids. <laughs> I didn't think he heard from me. Hey kids, this cool guy Terry over here. <laughs> All right. Hello fellow, hello fellow kids. All right. I'm gonna talk about uh, two things here, which uh, basically we've had for a while. And these are definitely like prime examples of like little gems hidden here at the Tatanyoko store. We're gonna start off with these um, obvious examples over here. These are our 
skateboard decks over here. We've had them for a bit over a year now. We have um, three flavors available. We've got the classic Tragic Blonde. We've got the Tragic Blonde O Indigo. The Flower of Carnage. And the Flower of Carnage MIJ version. So these guys come in three different widths, get eight, eight and a quarter, eight and a half. And they are just fantastic boards. These ones are all made in the US and A. They have different color backings on them there. Uh, seven ply maple. You know, do your own tricks over here. Garrett and I had a really fun photo shoot with one of these back in the day. Um, and it still hurts. It still hurts. <laughs> I have PTSD. <laughs> and literally, like, on the weekend, my ankle started acting up because of that injury. And that wasn't last summer. It was two summers ago. Yeah. It was two summers ago. I remember. He, we, anyway, he did a kickflip. I got a great photo. It should be somewhere on our blog somewhere. You can probably see it if you head back in the Wayback Machine there. It's there. And you can see him doing a little cool kickflip with a uh, skateboard. Top tip, uh, don't use denim as a grip tape. Get a proper skateboard grip tape, lest you lose your grip and end up yeah. like Mr. Garrett Hurt over here. Hurt your ankle and it will never ever recover because ankles never do. <laughs> but if you want to complete the look over here, definitely get one of these cool denim hats. So I actually own one of these. I bought these with my own dollary dues. Uh, this is one of the MIJ hats over here. So I'm going to give it off. Let me show you the, all the features. So we have these basically in two fits and two fabrics. So we have this nice 14 and a half ounce uh, unsanferized indigo one. And we also have the same thing in black. We have the six panel and baseball style. Plus we have the five panel um, uh, classic dad caps there. Um, I like the six panel because, you know, I'm just an older, older gentleman over here. If I say so myself, we got a cool little detail here, a little selvage uh, head adjuster on the back and a little detail that you guys might not know. I'm going to try and show it off over here. These are part of the MIJ line. So these are made in Japan. That there says naked and famous denim in the Japanese katakana script over here. And you'll see right under our little label here, a manufactured label somewhere. Anyway, we'll get that label there. These are made in Japan. We have four types. I bought one, you know, baseball hats and skateboards. It's a classic, classic combo. I think they're great little hidden gems. Go check them out on the website. Okay, and also one little other note. If you have one of these, if you have one of our denim hats and it's really faded and uh, you're not using it or you just want to trade it in, please send us an email because I'd love to have a faded example of this to show off, uh, to photograph, to show you guys in the video. So again, if you have one or even just send me some photos, I'd love to see a faded example of uh, these hats. That'd be super cool. I just want to show one little detail in the back. Sometimes you don't always know the uh, hardware for adjusting there. So this is a classic little clamp like that. It's a metal clamp. You can stuff it in here. And there's a little um, receptacle so you can put your loose ends in there. So for a little clean, low drag, high speed look. Great. All right. Okay. Final step. Your word of the week. Word of the week. Yes, sir. All right. Come over here, Vinny. So we're going to make, sure, make sure there's no spelling mistakes because you got to keep it easy. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Rubicon. It's Rubicon. <laughs> We're going to print out the special word of the week over here. So this is a little bit on the nose over here. We're going to get Bing to come into the uh, camera over at the printer here. And let's see what comes out of our trusty Zebra printer, a real, real hardworking hero over here. Purloin. That's right. The word of the week for this week is purloin. So if you put this word in the comment section of your order, when you buy something here at Tat and Yoga, we will definitely give you a little a couple extra stickers, write a nice little note, and definitely get one of those really, really cool keychains I showed to you. And you have a chance, a special chance to win a special prize. Who knows what it'll be? Sometimes it is a bag, sometimes it might be like a kind of an old item. And sometimes we have in the past, Mr. Brandon himself has made a little bit of a denim origami for some real lucky customers. All right, so one before, oh, I got to remind before I go, we just have a couple of these. Here. We have a couple of these now uh, there in stock again. So if you missed them the first time, we have some Dusty Rose jackets just in time for the spring season, which is just around the corner if you've been paying attention to all the weather reports out there. So these are cool jackets um, in a lovely and very, very rare kind of peachy Dusty Rose fabric. Grab them for the special spring season that's coming up. So as always, I want to say a big thank you to everyone. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe. This really helps us uh, grow our channel and engage. If you drop us a comment in the YouTube comments, we'll do our best to um, uh, answer your questions, you know, if you might miss them on the live stream. Speaking of which, 
Don't forget to tune in to see Bayside and Risa every Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern on our YouTube channel. So you can check us out, check out Bayside and Risa. They'll have a lovely two hour long live stream where you can really blast them with all your denim related questions and they will blast you with rants and cool pictures of cats. So thank you very much. Um, lots of love from us here at Tatanyoko and enjoy your week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.